The Central African Republic is a landlocked country located in the center of Africa. The area that is now the Central African Republic has been settled for at least 8,000 years. The earliest inhabitants were the probable ancestors of today's Aka or Pygmy peoples, who live in the western and southern forested regions of the country. The slave state of Dar al Kuti occupied the northern reaches until the various regions of the Central African Republic were brought under French colonial rule late in the 19th century. Colonial administrators favored some ethnic groups over others, resulting in political rivalries that persisted after independence in 1960. Following periods of civil strife and dictatorial government, including the infamous regime of the self-styled Emperor Bokassa I who renamed the country the Central African Empire. The country embarked on a course of democracy that was threatened, at the end of the 20th century, by inter-ethnic civil war in neighboring countries as well as by attempted coup d'etat. Weary of social chaos and shifting allegiances among contending elements of the power elite, the country's citizens quote a regional proverb, when elephants fight, the grass suffers, when elephants make love, the grass still suffers. The capital city of Bangui, founded as a French trading post in 1889, sprawls on the banks of the Ubangi River. Famed in colonial times as one of the most agreeable cities in equatorial Africa, Bangui blends wooded hills and grassy meadows with heavily populated shanty towns, a handsome if now somewhat rundown city center, and modern residential districts. Though strikes and curfews often bring the city to a standstill, Bangui enjoys a vibrant nightlife and a diverse musical culture. The people of the Central African Republic range from the hunting and gathering forest pygmy peoples to state-forming groups such as the Zand and Nakara. Prior to the arrival of Europeans in the late 19th century, Distinctions between different groups were highly fluid. Many thought of themselves as members of a clan rather than of a broader ethnic group. Interactions with those who spoke different languages and had different cultural practices ranged from peaceful trade and intermarriage to war and enslavement. The attempts by colonial administrators and ethnographers to divide Central Africans into definite ethnic groups have never been viable. However, French colonizers did promote ethnic and regional distinctions among their Central African subjects. Although people living in the country's northern regions have gained more political power since independence, southern peoples still remain an important presence in national politics. A minority of Greek, Portuguese, and Yemeni traders are scattered around the country, and a small French population lives in Bangui. Diamond traders from Western Africa, and Chad, merchants from various African countries, and refugees from nearby countries, such as the Democratic Republic of the Congo, also reside in Bangui, and the hinterlands. Language-wise, Central Africans currently speak a wide variety of languages, including Gbaya, Banda, Engbaka, Sara, Mbumbiu, Kare, and Manjia. French and Sango are the official languages, Sango is a lingua franca spoken by near nine-tenths of the population. It was originally the language of a people from the Ubangi River region, but Christian missionaries adopted, simplified, and disseminated it in the 1940s and 50s to their followers throughout the country. Religion-wise, roughly four-fifths of the population professes Christianity. There is a sizable minority of unaffiliated Christians, while Roman Catholics, Protestants, and independence constitute the rest. About one-tenth of the population continues to practice traditional religions. There is a growing number of Sunni Muslims. A small minority declares no religious affiliation. A moist savanna climate prevails in the north, and an equatorial forest zone in the south. During the rainy season which starts in March, and ends in October or November, heavy rainstorms occur almost daily, and early morning fog is typical. Maximum annual precipitation is 1,800 mm, occurring from August to September in the upper Ubangi region, and in the Ka Mountains annual precipitation averages 1,500 mm. 
During this season of southwestern monsoon winds, the daily temperature ranges between 19 and 30 degrees Celsius. The dry season, brought by the northeastern trade winds, called the Harmattan generally begins in October and ends in February or March. The air is dry, and temperatures range between 18 and 40 degrees Celsius, it is warm during the day, but considerably cooler at night. The skies are generally clear. Sandstorms and dust storms occur in the extreme north. Agriculture is the largest sector, and the basis of the Central African economy, contributing half of the gross domestic product and occupying nearly four-fifths of the workforce, diamonds and timber also contribute to the economy. International mostly French capital dominates the economy, but the Central African Republic has tried since independence to attract capital and development monies from other countries, including Libya, Taiwan, China, Germany, and Japan. Under pressure from the World Bank and International Monetary Fund to reverse the growth of government spending, liberalize prices, encourage a more open investment code, and provide incentives to agriculture and forestry, the Central African Republic submitted to a structural adjustment program in 1986. In the 1990s the IMF asked for further adjustments, such as devaluing the CFA franc and privatizing various businesses' commercial banks and a petroleum distribution company. As France has reduced its financial commitments to its former colonies in Africa, the Central African Republic's financial standing has deteriorated. In the 1990s a decline in international prices for cash crops, the inflated cost of imports caused by poor transportation into the country, the continued smuggling of diamonds across the border, and domestic political unrest further strained the economy. Most significant, however, were corruption and financial mismanagement, which left the government unable to pay the salaries for the military and the public sector. The resulting political unrest continued into the 21st century. The educational structure is modeled after the French system and does not, therefore, always serve the best interests of a developing country. School instruction is primarily in French, but the Central African government has sought to promote Sango literacy and encourages its use in schools. Slightly more than one-third of the population is literate. Education is compulsory for all children from age 6 to 14. The University of Bangui, founded by Jean Bedel Bokassa in 1969, opened in October 1970. In addition, there are such colleges as the National School of Arts and the Central School of Agriculture, as well as a number of religious and technical schools. The best students, and especially those with the best political connections, continue to go to France for their education. Civil unrest beginning in late 2012 has greatly disrupted the education system. Why not check out this playlist for more informative and educational videos about the African continent? Now you have a basic idea of the country. Share your thoughts about the video in the comments section, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks for watching, and we see you in the next video.